it is irresistible fodder for comics like Jay Leno. The president's decision to make public his birth certificate prompted by, it would seem, none other than Donald Trump. And here's a one-word headline that pretty much says all of what people are thinking about Donald Trump. Look at it here. Seriously? The man they call the Donald graces the cover of the new issue of Bloomberg Businessweek. The magazine looks at Trump's flirtation with a run for the White House and also his finances. The editor of Bloomberg Businessweek, Josh Durangel, is here this morning. Josh, let's explore this word seriously. And the fact that Donald Trump is on the cover of Bloomberg Businessweek, it says a lot, doesn't it, that you would put him on the cover? Look, I, the, the thing is, to a lot of uh, Americans, we view Donald Trump as somebody who's been around for a couple decades. He's a showman. and. The fact is that he spent the last several years branding himself, in a way, as American business. You go around the world, you ask people, what is American business? Who is American business? They say Donald Trump. So he's been successful at that. At the same time, we have this sort of unique set of circumstances in the Republican Party this year. Uh, you have a strong Democrat with a huge fundraising advantage, great campaign machinery, and the parties unite. You know, you're really looking back at Jimmy Carter and, and, and Herbert Hoover. I mean, I mean you've you got to go way, way back to see where, um, or not Herbert Hoover, Woodrow, Woodrow Wilson, to see an incumbent Democrat who was really challenged. And so people are flirting with the presidency, but nobody's out there saying, I'm interested. And Trump sees a vacuum. He loves a vacuum. And so he's, he's made a real play at it. So what can we take seriously? I think that his ambition is real. Um, he's certainly exploring it. He's working with Roger Stone, who is a real GOP operative, albeit one of the most colorful GOP operatives you'll ever find. Um, he seems to enjoy campaigning. So our, our reporter was out with him at a Tea Party rally in Boca Raton. Um, he's good at it. He knows how to wind up a crowd. He knows how to deliver a message. He's been on television for years. We seem to forget that the guy, you know, that that is a skill. And I think one of the quotes in the piece that I really like is Roger Stone saying, don't underestimate how important it is to be recognizable in politics. Ask Ronald Reagan, ask Tim Pawlenty. It's a real thing. It's a skill. And in a lot of places, Donald Trump is as well known as Barack Obama. Mitt Romney is not. And so, serious? We'll see if he's serious. Running for president is a, is a very, very hard thing to do. you got to give up a lot of creature comforts. But at the very least, we should not rule out the fact that he is a serious candidate. One thing is certain. His currency is rising faster than about just any other. The, the mere fact that he almost single-handedly, it would seem, was able to provoke the White House into releasing the president's birth certificate says something. Well, I think that the, Obama's comment about carnival barkers, that it was time to sort of start tuning these people out, I don't know whether the White House would say that he got under the White House's skin, but it's clear he kept the oxygen in this issue going. He kept feeding it, kept feeding it, and he has a platform. You know, Mitt Romney cannot get on television whenever he wants. Tim Pawlenty cannot get on television whenever he wants. Donald Trump can. And he boasts in this story that with three phone calls, he can be on all three major networks in 20 minutes. Absolutely. I, I think we might even have him on Bloomberg television if he wanted to come on. Uh, I think if he wanted to come on, we probably would give him a platform to say something. We'd ask him some hard questions, yeah. but he seems to relish that opportunity. Yeah. Just anything to get attention. Anything to get attention, anything to talk about, his priorities. He believes that in, in a sort of transitive property that he's been a success, that his su success has generated wealth, that Americans love wealth, Americans will love him. Let's say he does not decide to run for the Republican nomination, whether it's because he doesn't want his tax returns made public for people to find out how much he's really worth, who knows? Here's perhaps a more important question. Could he function as a kingmaker in that process? You know, it's, it's a little early to say that. Um, I don't know. It depends on the strength of the candidates. Um, if somebody runs a great campaign... He could raise some money for sure. He could raise some money. My guess is that he's not going to want to raise a lot of money for other people. Um, as far as an endorsement, what it could mean, I I'm sure that if it's a weak field, somebody's going to go to him and ask for an endorsement the same way they'll go to Sarah Palin if she doesn't run. If you've got a strong candidate, it means a lot less. Well, you make a good point, though. There is no one more important to Donald Trump, perhaps, than Donald Trump himself. Josh, thanks for joining us here on the Inside Track. Josh Durangle, the editor of Bloomberg Business Week. Go pick up a copy of the new issue. The Donald is on the cover with that priceless headline, Seriously.